What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play today. I've got some more Victoria 2, Heart of Darkness. We're playing as Portugal. Last episode, France made moves on Spain here and were able to take some territories away from them. Um, I am now allied with France, which is also great. Uh, we went to war with Netherlands and Spain. I didn't really get anything out of it other than upholding my duties to my allies, I guess you could say. I don't think I'm currently at uh, in anyone's sphere. So if we go to France here, I'm at a plus 200. So the um, the alliance holds up there. And I'm also thinking about trying to improve my relations with the Russian Empire because that is going to allow me to have like similar alliances. Right now, they will not accept because I have too many great power allies. So that may sort of prevent me I wonder if Switzerland would come in with me. Let's see. I could easily get there. Increase relations with Switzerland. There we go. Let's go ahead and unpause it. So we're also working on building up our industry. We've now got at least one factory in every state. And so I'm trying to build up some additional money to invest into these railroads here. So I'm pumping as much money into the economy as I possibly can, trying to get the infrastructure up so that we can get more craftsmen going in our actual factories here. You can see I'm gaining... Okay, the good news is I'm gaining a lot of workers that are coming into the country now with my immigration almost at 2,000 men per day. Okay, there was a quick crisis but did not generate any interest, so nothing to worry about there. I can also build up uh, some more units here in my army. So let's get one piece of artillery going in Europe. And then in Africa, I'm going to build a Zulu infantry unit and two other Portuguese infantry units back here on the mainland. Currently don't have any of my guys back here. No. No. That's right, I had stranded some of my army over here on the islands, and I need to build transport ships in order to go pick them up. Some of them are being built already. Where did I actually build them? In Africa? Yes. So there's two there. We just finished the railroad technology. Come, Hello, there we go. And I can also enact a reform, so let's see what the most popular one is going to be. Weighted Universal, maybe so. Secret Ballots. That is what most people want. So we're becoming more liberal as time goes on there. We could invest in the army. Actually, it may make sense to go up to the Breach Loaded Rifles here because we are eventually going to need state and government. Let's actually go with the ideological thought here because we're going to need state and government over there to start to colonizing further so we've got the ideological thought going I need to bump up my education at some point too but right now investing a lot of my funds into industry we also need to save up to uh, expand our naval bases a little bit further because I'm up to 248 colonial power right now which is awesome okay final ele elections have started All right, and new troops available now. So we'll put those guys together. Combine you there. I've got now a couple of clipper transports. I'm going to combine you. Make you into a fleet. We'll take some guys over back to the mainland. Don't want to lose any prestige, so I'm going to have to risk the militancy there. Uh, yeah. 30% more in favor of residency. Dock you back at home. While my new or army is organizing up here. Combine you guys. 20% more in favor of protectionism. I like the free trade route. Okay, 15,000 men now back here in the mainland, which is good. And you hop on the boats. 
Yes, jingoism. We need jingoism. Infamy burning down ever so slightly. Now down into the 11 range. I think uh, we're going to need... Well, we're going to need actually to build... Let that burn off a lot more before we go to war with Transvaal. If I go back to Transvaal here, are they in anyone's sphere yet? No. Who's investing in them? You can see the British are actually investing in them, so... Close down the bars. No, I'm going to let my people drink. That's fine. Orange down here, I think we found out last episode. Yes, they're in the British sphere. If we go to scores here, I have a world ranking of 16. So barely a secondary power. Spain is actually down to 13. Sucks for them. You've got Switzerland behind me at number 17 with a total score of 67. And I have a total score of... 66, 68, yikes. Industrial power now is moving up a little bit, so that's good. That must mean I'm starting to populate some of the factories. Yes. So that's going to bring in more money for me as time goes on. And more railroads that we can invest in. So we want to make sure that we're continuing to upgrade those. I do have some investors now helping me out. Oh, they left. There they are. They keep popping in and out. So that's going to tick off ever so slightly. It takes forever. Okay. Excellent. These projects are now going. This is just... Um, actually, I can just do this by hand, can't I? Yes, I can. Okay, all of the railroads that I'm allowed to build, at least on the mainland here, are being built. I don't have enough cash, though. That's the other problem. Oh, I have debt. Whoops, forgot about that. We went into debt during that last uh, war, so we just paid off some of that. Still 4,700 left. All right. 18 stack now is getting a little bit better there, more organized. I've got 21,000 men down here in Africa. Where are my random dudes? Yeah, a little bit of guys in India and a little bit of guys in Africa. Diplomatic tension. Whoa, what's going on here? Russian Empire has accepted the crisis offer from the Ottoman Empire. Acquire Thalesia. So Ottoman Empire, where does that, what does that take them to? I think that was Greece actually taking Thalesia. Yep, up here. Damn. Okay, so Greece expands. That means Russia must have taken a hit in terms of whatever that piece, whatever that deal was. Let's go back over to Switzerland now. Will they take an alliance with me? Not quite. Let's go ahead and increase relations yet again with them. So now going up to... Oh, they're number 14 in the world now. So they hopscotched me there. They leapfrogged me. Fuck. 110 points is the number 8 power in the world. Mm. Uh, poor strata gain militancy and consciousness. All middle strata lose 1 militancy. I'm going to go with that one because all poor strata loses militancy. Okay, we have another reform that we can pop in here. Weighted Universal seems to be the one that most people like so far. There we go. So changing the voting around there. My military continues to grow, which is good. We can actually build a new unit. Two new units in Africa. Got some good population down there. Alright, so building those guys out. And forgot. 
Then we need to get over to our next research. Let's go to the breech loaded rifles. And then once we finish the state and government after that, we can swing back around to industry uh, might, or commerce, actually. It would make a good idea so we can continue investing money in our industry. Yeah. So investing out on these railroads now. Starting to get some more craftsmen in-house. So I'm having to subsidize these factories right now. They're not being very profitable because they don't have enough workers in there. So when most people are coming in, I've got a just ton of farmers in my population. Population density, here we go. Okay, new units in the southern African part of the empire here. Let's go ahead and combine you guys. I don't know, I don't want to take any attrition. Okay, cool. Does not look like we're going to take attrition down there, so that's good. Nice 27 stack down there now. That's going to allow us to crush them, I think. Transvaal, at least. Infamy down now down to 9. Might as well go ahead and repay our debts. Leaves us with 5k to invest. Yep. Making good money now. So we will invest the 5k into more railroads. Very cool. Yeah, I think they're going to build it out themselves. Or at least they're going to try to. Gotta love those capitalists. Come on. Come on, damn it. These should be completed out now. Maybe I'm just waiting for the resources to arrive in my ports. That could very well be. Come on. Okay. Let's see here. Why aren't these guys uh, gaining better supply? Oh, that's because I have my supply bump down. Duh. Yeah, what does the budget look like? It's barely negative if I fully supply everybody. Is it really, though? I guess so. Transvaal, we're coming for you. Still, this is neutral with the Brits, so that means I'm going to be able to make a move against them. I think it costs 22 infamy to... Oh shit, what's going on over here? Austria at war with Britain, Denmark, Spain, Germany, and Wuttenberg. That's interesting. Twelve K now in the bank, so that's good. And I've actually scooted up to number fifteen in the world. Which is awesome because I think I was at number seventeen just a second ago. I don't really want a Cassus Belly against the United States. I really don't see myself using that. At all. Alright, so let's expand railroads down here. Expand railroads there where I can. And I've eaten up my money. Okay, I really don't... Hmm. <clears throat> Just got the, cast the free cast spell against Argentina... 
which I was considering making a move against, but... How much is it to acquire state? 11. We can take a state off of Argentina. So there's their capital, Buenos Aires. I was trying to get my hands on some more population, but that's not going to work out because otherwise I would have a little chunk of land just sort of in the middle of South America over here. And I don't really know if that's the best idea. All pops and lose one militancy, gain a consciousness. Yeah, that's what we want. So for the time being, let's bump the supply back down like this so we can make some quick cash. Only having to pay out a couple bucks a month in industrial subsidies, so that's good. Pretty sure we can build a new unit. Yes, we can. Build some artillery. Plurality plus 5%. Oh, nice. Now I scooted up to number 14 in the world. Wow, Austria, man, you're taking it on the chin so hard. First, they have Hungary split off of them as, into their own independent nation and basically controlled by the Germans. And yeah, Austria does not have any good allies there. So this should make for a pretty interesting campaign in Central Europe over here, at least in the Northern, Balkan, Northern Balkans. Awesome. Where is this guy? I've got a random transport sitting somewhere. Oh, he's all the way down here? Yep. Let's bring you back home. There we go. Nice, I've got tons of cash now. Again, I'm going to build railroads where I can here. So this whole province will get railroads. That's good. And then how about this whole guy here? <clears throat> yeah, I guess so. And here is our new artillery unit. Let's bring him down and combine him. There we go. Combine you guys like this. Nice. Okay, so I feel okay with around a 21 stack here in the home area. I'm thinking once we start building up more troops from this, we can start reinforcing our Indian territory here. Oh, nice. My breech-loaded rifles are finished up. God, so many researches that I want to take care of. with the market structure, actually. I think that's going to help my economy a lot. Plus, dip I get a plus 10% diplomatic influence bonus. A mining output bonus. So, all good things, but that really that farming bonus is good, too. Oh, actually, you know what? Cancel that. No, 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 no. That's right. We wanted state and government. We need to get our life rating up so we can colonize Africa. Yeah, I need a life rating at least 30 state and government. So yeah, I'm glad I, I changed up there because you can see the mission to civilize there. <clears throat> so we need to make sure that our scientists discover those. Oh, I can actually colonize over here. Where? Just that little piece? Yeah, looks like it. It's going to cost me a whole 80 colonial power though. It's kind of lame. We'll at least start it, though, because I'm going to want to keep driving uh, westward here into the center of the continent. And wow, France actually ended up annexing Madagascar. They must have revolted. Interesting. That means... Okay, good news is I still have plus 200 relations with France. Increase relations one more time with them. Nice. Nice. 
Uh, the Germans feel decent about me, I guess. Everyone pretty much likes me. Even the British. Cool, guys. This is where we're going to take a break. Thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed this content. And we'll catch you next time.